this video tutorial, I'm going to show how to refashion a men's shirt into a crop top, amazing contemporary gathered sleeves. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do before we crop the shirt is to fold the shirt in half and remove the sleeves. So, fold the shirt in half, get your sleeves together. And what you're going to do is going to line up the shoulders and you're going to line up the seam of the sleeves to make sure they are both lined up really well. Get a pin, put it in and you're going to keep doing this until you get all the way to the end. Both the sleeves have been pinned. The next step is to place a marker about four centimetres which is about an inch and a half away from that pin. This is where I'm going to be cutting. Another one here. Another one down here. And then I'm going to get my scissors and cut all the way along. Hello, I'm Colleen G. Lee. I'm here to inspire, motivate and share ideas to refashion clothing. Okay, so then just removing the pins. Decide on the length of your crop top. I have here for this marker and do remember to add seam, not seam allowance, um, hem. I'm going to give myself about four centimeters, an inch and a half of, of a hem. So make sure your shirt is in half. Pin along the hem of the shirt to make sure it's even on both sides. And here, and put one more along here because you want to make sure it's even on both sides. And then I am going to put a marker for the line in which I am going to be cutting along here and measure. So you're going to measure from here, I prefer two centimetres, then carry that on from here all the way along. So I've got the pins that are marking my cut line for this crop top. So I'm going to cut above the pins here all the way along to the back of the shirt. So it's now separated, that is now cut and now for the next step is to hem the bottom of this crop top. So I'm going to take it to my ironing board and my iron and going to turn a little hem like so, iron this flat and then I'm going to give it another press in order to create the new hemline. I've given myself a bigger hem. My starting point is going to be here. Put my foot down, needle down. And start sewing. We're now going to focus on the sleeves, so I'm going to remove the cuff and cut the sleeve open at the side seam, let me show you. Remove the cuff, here is the seam, and then I'm going to cut all along there in order to open up the sleeve. Cut is now being removed using the seam ripper, it's now time to cut along the sleeve. Seam allowance, it should be enough, all the way to the top. to give this sleeve its volume. I'm also using the ends of the shirt. So I'm going to cut that in half at the back here. And then to the front, I'm going to cut away the button stand. So still on the sleeve, I'm going to fold up the bottom end of the sleeve 
to roughly about there. I'm going to do a quick measurement because this section is going to be added to this section which is the bottom of the shirt. So I need to give it a bit of a seam allowance. Maybe just come a little bit here. So I'm just going to cut that now. nice and flat and then I'm going to cut along here. I'm now ready to show the tuck. So this is the wrong, this is the right side, I'm turning it to the wrong side, put pins in place. I do have a video tutorial on how to sew tuck so please do check that out. Okay, the tuck is now sewn and then what will happen is I will place the cuff onto the front like so, turn this back, it will be hand stitch, slip stitching and I will also sew this towards the back. I have gathered and added French seams to the sleeve, this is what the sleeve looks like, it's not joined, it's going to be open and this is how it's going to sit once it's in the armhole of the shirt. So I do have video tutorials on how to gather, I'll put those links in the description and the wrong side I have French seams. And let me just show you what it looks like before it gets to this stage. So the next step for this one is to do the French seams and once I've done the French seams then I will do the double, very narrow double fold in order to finish off the edge of the sleeves, the side seams of the sleeves and then it will be a case of then doing the same on the edge, the bottom edge of the sleeve and then it will be at this stage in which I need to do in order to insert it, insert it into the shirt. How gorgeous is this sleeve? This is the sleeve I'm going to show you how I have inserted it in. It is an advanced level, so I'm, and it does require some hand sewing as well. But that sleeve is gorgeous. So this is the armhole, and I'm sure you remember early on in the video where we cut this amount to make sure that I had enough in order to insert the sleeve in there and also I didn't have to do a bias binding that was a trick behind leaving this amount so this is the stage it is before I insert the sleeve which is the one I've just shown you which is this one not complete yet I need to do hand sewing but as you can see I binded the bottom of the sleeve that is machine sewn the sleeve gathered head is also machine sewn and then what I'm going to do in order to cover the raw edges of the gathers I'm going to turn this twice, place it in a position like so and that is going to be hand sewn and then there will be a neat clean finish to the sleeve. The crop top is now complete. How gorgeous are those sleeves? Just one little added touch I need to show you. Well, I just need to try this on because those sleeves are gorgeous. The top is now complete. How cute is this crop top? These sleeves are amazing. How gorgeous they are. This is a contemporary crop top and this is what you can do with a man's shirt. I've got one finished item I need to add to my shirt which is a tie <laughs> to add to this contemporary look. I'll go through what everything looks like in a minute in a little bit more detail once I've got this on. Let's see. I'll fast forward this bit. <laughs> there we go. There's the tie. So I've literally used, I would say 95% of this shirt. A little bit of the sides was cut away and a little bit of the top of the sleeves was cut away. That was it, almost 
But these sleeves are gorgeous! Wow! If you enjoyed this video tutorial then please give it a thumbs up and please do share. Do leave a comment in the comment box below about the tutorial just watch and any other ideas you want me to do with a man shirt. Before I go I just want you to know that I do appreciate the fact that so many of you are commenting, commenting but I would also appreciate more so if you would give me a super thanks because it really will help the channel to grow. So what I've done here is these sleeves come from this shirt, man shirt, amazing. The top is now cropped. But this tie was the bottom of the shirt that I put away. If you watch the video, you know what I mean. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.